So I've taken you pretty west right now, Jaden. We're out near Ballarat, about an hour and a half out of Ballarat, and uh, this is uh, this is not milking country, mate. So you're a little bit. Uh, I'm out of my tip. Yeah, yeah. How do you do? When you drag me out of bed at the same time as you usually get up to milk the cows, that was a bit prickly. But <laughs> everyone thinks I'm over here on some sort of holiday. But yeah, I think. It's Farming old timers always preach that they just don't make farm machinery like they used to. But how true is that? Well today, we have a 1998 Gold Acres Crop Cruiser prototype. And over there, well that's a brand new KSH Patriot 4430. And to help us test it out, we've brought over Farm Trader's very own old timer, Jaden Drought. So who wins? Old or new? This is the very first Gold Acres Crop Cruiser. It was originally sold to a local farmer in Hamilton, but is now the workhorse on the McInnes family farm. And the special thing about it? Well, it was built here in Victoria. She may be a bit long in the tooth, but the original crop cruiser is still going strong. It's pretty old school. That's probably because it's 20 years old. But the great thing about it is it's so simple. For someone who hasn't driven many sprayers, you could easily hop in here. It's as simple as turning on the ignition, putting it in drive here, just like a car on the T-bar just driving it flat out. Under the bonnet, it's running a 177 horsepower Cummins engine. So we'll just give it a squirt here. Oh yeah, she gets going. On the back here, we've got a 4,000 litre tank and a 30 metre boom. And the owners are using it to spray their pastures and their, and their cropping. They do a bit of beans, they do a bit of wheat. And uh, believe it or not, this old girl is still getting used today. This thing, has done over 20,000 hours. This thing is an absolute pleasure to drive. I'm not too sure if I want to sit in it for six hours a day, but um, for what we're doing in it today, it's, it's doing bloody well. Heap of fun. The owner, David, loves this thing. But his son, Matty, uh, I think he prefers the heated seating in the case. Well, it turns out he isn't the only one. Our Kiwi tourist Jaden was quick to pounce on the Gucci style interior. And it's hard to deny, the Patriot is a beautiful looking machine. So here we have the Case IH Patriot 4430. So this is really showcasing uh, what is new and great about the uh, high tech sprayers, self propelled sprayers currently on the market. Uh, so here we've got the AFS 700 Pro screen which has got your spray controller, your boom control, and your GPS all in one screen. So this whole side window isn't cluttered with various screens to run you the GPS and your spray section control. You've got a lot of information on the A pillar, so that keeps the visibility forward. You've got a hydrostatic transmission, which is run through this controller here. Simply push it forward to go faster or pull it back. So it's zero to 48K and Coming over here, uh, compared to New Zealand, the next door neighbour is uh, significantly further away, so uh, that increased road speed is a real, uh, real benefit. It's got a uh, Fiat powertrain 8.7 litre engine, um, that is maximum horsepower 375, so there's plenty of ponies. You've got no emissions control, you've got no air blue, you've got no DPF, you've got no EGR, uh, it's, all that stuff is gone. So that's uh, a great thing for simplicity and, and longevity in these machines. Compared to the old girl, uh, I mean, it's as as Harry uh, probably was taking the piss out of me with me Gucci leather-bound seat and uh, everything on the armrest. I think it is fair to say that if you were going to spend 10 or 12 hours a day, I mean, this is definitely the machine that you'd want to do it. Be careful you don't pull your hamstring down there again. Oh. We'll start with the case. What do you it, think? Well, no, I really like it. I. Uh, I think it's um, technology, there's a lot of technology, but I think, you know, if you're going to spend somewhere for 12 or 15 hours, it's definitely the place to be. Oh, I loved it too. I really loved it inside the cab. 
I thought the hydrostatic uh, control were pretty simple, but as I mentioned uh, inside, I just didn't quite like, you know, what happens when you when you yeah. you know, break it up. You feel like you're bunny hopping a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Crop cruiser, I love the name. I think it should win based on that. 100%. <laughs> and I mean, it's just, it's glorious. I mean, you put your foot down and, you know, diesel goes in and horsepower comes out and it's glorious. And, you know? and, and it's done 20,000 hours, so it's a credit to it. You, oh. you go ask the question, will the case do 20,000 hours? Well, and this is a thing, I guess, you know, you, you there is a lot to go wrong. I mean, the more thing you put on and the, the easier it makes your life, I guess there naturally is more stuff to go mm. wrong. And it's hard to say. I mean, it seems like we're splitting hairs here, Jaden. So how about we uh, make a bit of a competition out of it? Yep. Australia versus New Zealand. Ready? Paper, scissors, rock. Let's do it. One, two, three. I'll take the old one, mate. Off the bad stuff. <laughs> okay, I think we need to lay out some ground rules because I can see this being massively disadvantaged <laughs> oh, in my favour. Sucks. Uh, so what, down and back to the trees? Start up, boom out. Yep. Down Do there, back, boom up, engine off. Winner. Okay, watch out for the friendly sheep. No sheep jokes. <laughs> I can see they've been massive amount of sheep. <laughs> Here we go. So I've chosen to take the 4430 Patriot. Seems like a good idea. It's obviously the flasher of the two, the newer one, but it has a distinct disadvantage in that to fire up all the electronics in it it can take up to 20 or 30 seconds. So although it's got a faster transmission, we're up to 48K, we're not gonna get that fast in the in the paddock. And I just feel that I may be slightly disadvantaged with the start up time, but time will tell. Fingers crossed. You ready? <laughs> 40 seconds gone, he hasn't even started moving yet. Get a move on. Falling asleep out here. A minute on the dot to start. I think this is where he's uh, he's 300 odd horsepower. The engine really is going to smoke me here. I've got to get him on the turn. Heated seat. Here we go. We're going down the finish line. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't far off it. 3:46. A minute on the dot before you took off. I, I just started it. <laughs> I let the computer load as the boom was folding out. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, mate. There's your time. 3.46. Yeah. Well, it's going to be tight. Jaden's obviously got a, a bit more horsepower under, under the bonnet with the case. About 150 more. Um, but I'm slightly confident here because uh, it took him a minute to get all these booms out with all these fancy uh, controls and, and monitors and whatnot. So the big, simple... Uh, Gold Acres Crop Cruiser might have it covered here just with the simplicity. Started. We'll see, oh, he's got the boom going up. This is good. This is a good start. He, he needed to tilt out first. <laughs> 45 seconds, so it's going to be pretty close. A minute. Here we are. We're at, we're at a minute now, so it's almost identical. <laughs> he looks petrified. That's glorious. So I guess uh, the hydrostatic in the case this allowed you to pick up pace, maybe a little bit faster early on. So uh, we're in minute 50. Uh, so he's roughly halfway. So it's going to be pretty close. Here we are. Again, with it, this is where you could get pick up a bit more pace with the hydrostat. Probably just that little or an extra couple of hundred horsepower makes a difference. Still got a minute to go. Don't even know how fast we go. <laughs> this could be where he becomes unstuck. We've just passed the four minute mark. Yeah, he needs to go down. It's too high, eh? Yeah. I mean, 
We'd like to blame the machine, we honestly would, but what do you think? What do you think the time was? Oh, I reckon I had you on the straight, and by the time I got you bloody <laughs> oh, I reckon you got me. <laughs> by about, it's 5 minutes 16. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. well. Anyway. Better, better man won. Well done, mate. Bit like your rugby side. Well, so. no, I think it's probably become a bit of a tradition. We come over here and give you guys a hiding, and then we go home and... Don't come back for a couple of years. Does that mean I'm going to buy the beers at the pub down the street? Well, I mean, it seems a natural progression. Fair enough, I'll do that. <laughs> Light ones for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's hard to deny the fact that modern machinery is stunning, but both Jaden and I agree that they just don't make machinery as tough and as rugged as they used to. But these new machines build upon the foundations of its predecessors and better them with technology, comfort and convenience. Whether the Patriot will stand the test of time like the Crop Cruiser is yet to be seen, but what we can all agree on is how wonderful these two machines are in their own right. I walked in Friday night looking for a girl feeling all right. Singing that crazy tune There she was Getting down